Happy Friday, Washington Junior High. I am Tiffany Yang. And I am Molly Hang. Good morning. You may have heard recent announcements about Challenge Day. Perhaps you have even participated in this wonderful experience in the past. Challenge Day, Challenge Day is back this month, January 23rd and the 24th. Have you signed up yet? Challenge Day was an amazing experience. I learned so much from participating in it. Many people that participated in Challenge Day changed drastically, including me. I admit that I was definitely a bully. Most of these things that I did, I didn't realize I was hurting people. Challenge Day changed me. The hardest part was when we had to get into small groups called Our Families. In Our Families, we could tell everything we wanted people to know about us, even the bad things about our lives, if we wanted. As if everyone was sharing, I thought deeply about how I treat people. I also thought if five out of six people have issues they deal with inside and outside of class, what about the whole school? A big effect on me was seeing all these kids crying and myself wanting to. I was thinking, as I heard the sobs, do these kids cry like this after they get home from school because people bully them? I could assume the answer could probably be yes. Another huge effect on me was when we had to cross the line if the situation related to us. This was the hardest part. Cross the line if you have had a family member ever affected by the use of drugs or alcohol. I knew I had to cross the line, but it was so hard. At that time, my mom was in prison for two years because of drunk driving. I crossed the line and my heart pounded until I saw at least a dozen other kids cross with me. After challenge day, I came home and sat on my bed. I thought about it, all the ways I hurt people. I decided I'm not going to do anything to others unless I think first. Since then, I have been doing well. Challenge day changed me. Are you interested in hanging out with your friends? Swimming, playing, games, watching a movie and eating? Dream Academy is sponsoring a lock-in on Friday, February 1st from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. The first 60 students to bring back their permission slips and $3 will be allowed to participate in this fun night. If interested, please see Mrs. Reedinger or Mrs. Tuchel for permission slips. For several weeks now, Christopher Santiago has been teaching stop motion, stop motion classes in room 110. Christopher put together a showcase for a few of the projects. As you heard, stop motion classes have been available. Well, here are some things people did. Let's watch. I'm a piece of clay, walking, walking, walking. Oh, a piece of clay. Sup, sup. As days went by, people got better with their Lego stuff. Oh my god, I'm in a video! Yeah, and you're ruining the whole thing. Those were only a few of the stop motion videos that were made. To see more videos or to make your own creative little video, go to room 110 basement during white days during your lunch. Attention all DC students. That would be the ninth graders who signed up to go to Washington DC in March. We have a parent meeting scheduled for next Tuesday at 5.30 in the Washington Auditorium. We'll be discussing room assignments, emergency and medication forms, the updated schedule, and the information we need to meet we need to before we can request our White House tour. The White House tour? Yes, the White House tour. We'll also be discussing grades as the semester winds, winds down. So mark your calendars and plan on attending with your parents. Next Tuesday, 5.30 p.m., Washington Auditorium. Did you know that Washington Junior High has their own branch of United One Credit Union? Absolutely, they are located in the gym lobby and open Tuesdays and Thursdays during all three lunch periods. Here is more information on our very own United One Credit Union. Hello, welcome.
Welcome to the United One Career Union. My name is Dylan. How can I help you? The United One Credit Union is open Tuesdays and Thursdays, A, B, and C lunch. All right, since you deposited $5, would you like to uh, enter our iTunes gift card uh, challenge? Attention forensics teens, our meet against Wilson is this coming Monday at Washington from 3 to 6. Please meet on Monday right after school in Mrs. Uptal's room, ready to perform. Make sure to dress up and look your best before your audience and bring a snack if you need it. Late, lastly, make sure you attended three practices before Monday's meet so that you have performed your best. Attention all 7th graders, your peers have been earning points toward winning the iPod Touch. Check the board outside of guidance to see who is leading the pack. Did you forget to come to the contest meeting on Wednesday? Don't worry, see Mr. Lackin or Mrs. Ott before or after school in the library to get entered. As you probably know, we have another dance tonight, sponsored by United One Credit Union. Tickets are $3 today at lunch, but go up to $5 at the door at night. Here's Chris Santiago with the stop motion dance rules. You already know the dance rules, so here's just the highlights. Please show kindness in the line to get into the dance while we check IDs. The locker rooms will be open and supervised for only 30 minutes. Washington Junior High School dances are for Washington Junior High School students only. No one is to sit or stand on the stairs in the lobby. No one is permitted to wear bare feet. No running or chasing. Dress appropriately. Be careful around the DJ equipment. Dirty dancing, freaking, or grinding will not be tolerated. Dirty dancing, freaking, or grinding will not be tolerated. And finally, dirty dancing, freaking, or grinding will not be tolerated. No drama tonight. Thank you, chaperones, and thank you, student council. I am Tiffany. I am Molly. Wait, no, no, no. I'm Molly. Yes, uh, and, I, and I'm Tiffany. Um, well, yeah, thanks for watching the scene. Have a great rest of your Friday. Bye.